As a freelancer, how have you determined how much to charge for your services? Oh, here's my big secret. If, if, if I didn't have to worry about paying my bills and being secure, that would be the last thing I would ever worry about. I consider myself an artist and I do this because I love it. And for that reason, every morning I wake up and get to do it is like Christmas. And I love the people I get to collaborate with. They're my friends, they're my idols, they're my family. I mean, it's such a joy and it's such a privilege. Practically, I have these people who want money from me. I don't know why, but you know, they won't give me free housing or free food, you know, drat them. So, so I, I do, I do. And, and, you know, again, this is a song and dance. This is putting on a show because, because what's that fine line? You know, you get to a certain level of experience and you both deserve and need a certain level of income. And, um, you know, but at the same time, if you're slow, do you turn down less? So, you know, it's, it's, it's a fine line to walk. Um, part of my bulwark against this is having an agent. And not everybody has an agent, you know, but with the agent, we can be good cop, bad cop. Um, and I say that with the caveat that, that I never tell my agent to be an asshole. I don't want my agent to be an asshole. Again, I, I trust people, you know, but, but he will haggle. He will, in good faith, negotiate. Um, and, um, you know, so, so that's, that's important. Um, uh, in terms of if I, if, I mean, look, if I really like somebody and they don't have the money, I'll be like, you know what? I, I love you and you're an awesome creator and I just it would be a thrill to work with you. So you tell me what's in the budget and I'll see if I can make it work. You know, because again, it just it's it's not all about the money. Fortunately for me, I do have the agent and fortunately I have a lot of clients who have a lot of integrity and you know, they will pay me the big dollars on the big jobs and then if there's one that's less, they'll say, "Well, this isn't quite as much." But then the next job they'll you know, they'll get back up there again. It's not like, oh, you know, he worked for less. Let's just keep paying him less. I mean, that would suck, you know, and I don't think that's a fair way to treat people. I wouldn't treat people that way. But, um, and some people would. But again, I'm, I feel I'm very lucky. I have, I have clients that, that value me and they appreciate that I can be flexible um, and they don't take advantage of that. And that's just brilliant. You know, that's the way to be. Now, I will also say that my success has harmed me in this way. And I'll tell you a story. I have a, a fellow I know, a filmmaker who I really respect and I really wanted to work with him. And you know, we had lunch and then uh, a couple months later he calls me and says, Brad, I just got back from China. I sure wish you had been there with me. And I'm like, well, yeah, you know, I, I wish I had been there with you too. <laughs> First I'm hearing about it. And he says, well, you know, I told my producer, I said, let's get Brad on this. And she said, we couldn't afford you. And I said, I said, I said, well, that's funny because he, your producer didn't call me and your producer didn't call my agent. The producer just looked at the level of work I did. and was like, oh, you, you can't, we can't afford him, you know, or people will look at me and say, oh no, no, he's, 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 he's going to want a truck and a techno crane and five cameras, you know, and it's like, it's, but that's just not true. You know, and I'm guilty of that one. Look, I was horrible with girls when I was a kid or when I was younger because I just, I couldn't ever bring myself to ask them for dates. I was so horribly shy. And when you don't ask for dates, you get zero dates, you know? And, and so I can't t say these people are idiots for making that assumption because I've been that way. You know, they look at somebody and they're like, they just, they're not good. And it would insult them to ask. So don't ask. How you handle that, I don't know. Because I don't know those moments that they're having those thoughts. But I just, I honestly wish people would, would ask, you know. Because, because, because look, again, I'm, I'm not all about the money, you know. It's like if somebody wants to work with me and it's a good job and I have the time and it's enough money, it's a reasonable amount, then I would consider it, you know. Now, if that person, again, took advantage of that 
and was just always nickel and diming me, well, that's not going to last. I'm going to move on. I don't like relationships like that. Again, I'm going to, no matter what you pay me, I'm going to give you 150%. You know, and if and if and if I feel that that's reciprocated in the relationship, then then that's great. But if I feel I'm being taken advantage of, man, you know, life's too short. I'd rather not work than work with somebody taking advantage of me, even if they're paying me a lot of money. If there if there's some aspect to that where they're taking me taking advantage of me, I just, you know, I you can see I don't have the mentality to be a millionaire entrepreneur I'm not just all about the money I you know being an artist and and my sanity are, are are very important to me and and just being happy and being with people I like that that just means so much more I mean I I couldn't tell you the the rates I got paid for the jobs last year or the year before but I could tell you about the the, the cool films I did and the people I worked with and the happy times you know. I just, I consider money an evil necessity that we all have to deal with, you know. It's like, you know, I just, like I said, I wish I didn't have to pay those those pesky bills and then we could all just make art and, you know, have fun. At what point do you determine your worth from graduating from, I just want to do really cool things to then saying, well, but I do have amazing experience and I feel like I should be paid more. Mm -hmm. Um, well, you're talking to somebody who tends to have low self-esteem and I don't have an ego, so it's kind of hard to embrace that. And I also really love what I do. <laughs> I'm throwing myself under the bus here, but I'm a pragmatist. I mean, obviously I've got to, I've got to make a living and, um, You know what what comes to mind is 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 Blanche Dubois's comment in uh, the Glass Menagerie. I've always depended upon the kindness of strangers, you know, and I just to me it's I just have to work with the right people. I, I can't I I have to work with people who respect me enough to do the right thing. Um, as far as leveling up or upping my upping my salary, I mean maybe my agent could do that. You know, but but I'm always so it, it, if I'm excited about a job, I, I'm averse to price myself out of it. Um, that's just not my gift, you know. Even just like um, you know, mentorship and the advice I I give, I've had people tell me you should charge for that, you know. And I think about that, and it makes a certain kind of sense. But the problem I have with that is it's not egalitarian. What about the people who can't afford it? I mean, should they not have access to that information? I mean, I feel that they should. Um, I don't. I don't like saying you are worthy and you are not worthy, and I don't, that doesn't work for me. Um, I want everybody who is wants to ask and is willing to apply it. Now, people who don't listen and don't apply it, well, they would fall out of favor. Um, but. The people who who listen and apply it, you know, they I, I want to help them. And practically speaking, I, again, there's a lot of attrition. You know, it's one of the reasons I can do those things is because so few people stick with it, and so few people even come to me for advice in in the first place. Um, and and I never, of course, I never. I think a lot of people, and again, understandably, just kind of want me to make it happen for them, and that's just not how it works. You know, I can give them resources. I can point them in the right direction. You know, fortunately, I have videos like this now that I can say, "Here's a link. Watch this," and then ask me whatever questions you have left over. Um, but uh, you know, I just this is something I don't want to charge for. And uh, um, I will say, I will say that 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 as a, as a kind of a counterpoint, there is something to be said with having skin in the game. Because I have had situations where I've helped people out and it was very easy for them to throw away an opportunity because it cost them nothing to attain it. So, you know, I don't know. I'm not old enough or wise enough to be able to decisively come down on one side and my compassion is the one prevailing and saying everybody should have access. And then... You know, it's up to you to put the skin in the game. It's up to you to commit. I, I can't control that.